exciting and educational parts of taking a chemistry course. It can be dangerous, however, if you're not careful. Accidents can happen at any time. They're unpredictable. If accidents were predictable, we wouldn't call them accidents. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate two important concepts to you. First of all, safety eyewear is just that, something that you wear to protect your eyes and keep them safe. Secondly, we'll demonstrate select pieces of safety equipment and show you how they're used. Students, since probably the beginning of time, or at least when their chemistry teachers made them wear safety glasses, have moaned and complained about different things such as, oh, the glasses are too hot, or the lenses keep fogging up, I can't see anything, or I walk out of chemistry lab all the time and I've got raccoon eyes, my, my friends make fun of me. Any or all of these may indeed happen to you, but if you think about it, it's a minor price to pay for the safety of your eyes. The safest type of safety eyewear is that which protects your eyes from all directions, both from the front, the sides, down from the top, and up from the bottom. If you think about it, if your experiment is in front of you and something goes wrong and it explodes, it's going to be coming up, so you want protection down here. There are several types of safety eyewear that we have both in this chemistry laboratory and are usually available in general. And the most common are the safety glasses. You can adjust these by sliding the rims in and out, the earpieces, okay? and they provide adequate frontal coverage, okay? some coverage from the top, and some from the side. Okay? The next type are visor goggles. Okay? These you'll probably find more commonly in a college laboratory. Okay? Uh, it's a slanted face plate, and there is more coverage up top to protect you in case chemicals drip down right? and there's an adjustable strap for you to wear. Goggles, okay, very similar to visor goggles but these are more industrial in strength. Okay? Um, they provide coverage up top, ample coverage on the sides, okay? and these do hug your cheeks fairly well. These are the most common culprits for causing what are called raccoon eyes. Of course, the ultimate in protection you could have would be a full face shield. Okay? And this type of thing is used when you're working with especially caustic items like hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, or when you're working with things that are potentially you know, explosive or could come shooting up out of the glassware. Safety eyewear is meant to be worn over the eyes. If you wear them around your neck, your throat will be protected, but your eyes won't. If you wear them above your eyes, on your head, your bangs will be protected, but your eyes won't. Wear your safety glasses over your eyes. Remember, hair grows back, eyes don't. Now, with the help of our assistant, Mr. Robbins, we're going to demonstrate to you how well eye protection can save your eyes in an emergency. Now, had this been an emergency, okay, and this had been a chemical explosion, obviously your face is covered, okay? But if you were wearing your eye safety protection, your eyes are just fine. Now, in a true emergency, the explosion or the accident might be so big that you get the chemicals all over you or all over your face, as we did in this example. If that's the case, Bring yourself over here, and if you need to, get some help from your lab partner. Come over to the safety shower. The point of this device is to get as much water on you as quickly as possible so that the chemical gets off of your skin and out of contact with your clothing. All you do is just come up underneath here, and I remind you, this is only for emergency purposes. You come under the shower, grab onto the triangle, and pull. Had this truly been an emergency, you would remain under here for an extended amount of time, not just the couple of seconds that I remained under here. 
If your clothing or shoes become soaked with chemicals, they need to be removed immediately. Emergencies are no time to be bashful. Better to deal with a bit of embarrassment rather than scars that could last a lifetime. Hopefully you've enjoyed this safety video and are convinced that the safety of your eyes is well worth any inconvenience that wearing safety eyewear might present. This video in and of itself is an example of what you and your classmates might be able to do to go above and beyond the call of duty in the chemistry classroom. You could demonstrate another safety concept, proper laboratory technique, or even how to accomplish different types of chemistry problems. Who knows? You might even earn some extra credit points for it. Thanks for paying attention. And remember, protect your eyes. You've only got those two.